Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. We're in Calculus 1 and today we're going to solve the following problem, okay? It says, an object is dropped from the top of the cliff uh, 650 meters high. Its height above the ground t seconds after it is dropped is 650 minus 4.9 t squared. Determine its speed 5 seconds after it is dropped, okay? So, in this problem over here, they are giving us that the height or the equation of the height of this object th that is dropping is equal to this one. So this function that they're giving us in here, so I'm going to call it f of t, is going to be equal to 650 minus 4.9 t squared. Okay, and this is our function for our height. Now. They're ask, asking us to determine the speed five seconds after, right? So what we need to understand in here is that if this is the height, meaning this is my position of my object, how can I go and find the velocity or its speed, basically, of this object? Well, what we have to do is that we have to do a derivative of these function in order to get um, our velocity. Therefore, we need to do the derivative. Now, in this chapter of the book, what we have is that we have the definition of a derivative, which is the limit as h approaches zero of my function of t plus h minus my function at t, all divided by h okay so now that we know that we are doing this derivative what we need to do is okay what parts do we need to solve this limit well i need this f of t plus h f of t and h is our variable okay so if we pay attention we already got f of t all we need to do is to find this f of t plus h so what we are going to do is that in this function we're going to change our variable t for t plus h and if we do that we're going to replace every t for a t plus h so we got 650 minus 4.9 and then we're going to open a parenthesis why because we're replacing our t for a t plus h so we got t plus h is square okay now that we have this we can come here and put this in our limit. So we got our limit as h approaches zero, right? And then we have our fraction. Then first we will have f of t plus h, which is equal to all this. So we're going to put 650 minus 4.9 multiplied by t plus h squared, okay? Then after that we have minus, and I'm going to open a parenthesis, f of t. Well, f of t is equal to these two terms in here. So we got 650 minus 4.9 t squared. Okay? And all this is divided by h. The next step that we have to do is that we're going to start, first of all, we're going to take this parenthesis square and we're going to FOIL it out. Okay? And after FOIL it out, we're also going to distribute this minus into our 650 and our negative 4.9. So, let's just start by doing that. We got the limit as h approaches 0. What will we have? Well, we have 650 stays 650. Then we have negative 4.9. And if we foiled this t plus h squared, we will end up with t squared plus 2 times th plus h squared. If you guys wonder how I got this foiling out in my head so quickly is that I use the um, uh, so, squares of the sums, okay? But if you cannot um, memorize this formula, basically, what you can do is that you're going to do t plus h and you're going to multiply it by t plus h and your final answer should be exactly equal to this, okay? Now that we have this, we are going to distribute that negative, negative 650, and then we're going to end up with positive 4.9 t squared, since minus 
and this minus will become positive okay now at the bottom I have an H we're going to keep working on this limit and limit as H approaches 0 we got what do we have well we got 650 minus 4.9 T square minus 9.8 T H minus 4.9 H square okay minus 650 plus 4.9 T square all divided by H when we reach this point what we can realize is that we can combine by terms why do we want to combine by terms basically because we got 650 minus 650 is equal to 0 so we can cancel them out and then we got negative 4.9 t squared plus 4.9 t squared basically these two cancel out again now now that we know this let's see so we got a uh, um sorry our limit as h approaches 0 again of negative 9.8 th minus 4.9 h squared all divided by h now if we pay close attention, now all my numbers in my numerator include an h. So what we can do is that we're going to do a common factor. So we're going to do a common factor on my numerator of my variable h. So we're going to have h outside. And since we're taking an h from each of our terms, the first one will end up with negative 9.8t. Then we'll have negative 4.9 h to the first power because we took one out of it okay and all this is divided by h now here again what we can see is that we can cancel h and h and this is basically our main goal with this limit to cancel out the h on our denominator okay now that we do that so we have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 9.8 t minus 4.9 h okay now what we can do is that since we're approximating h to be equal to 0 we're going to replace our variable in here h in here to 0 so let's do that so now we break our limit and we end up with negative 9.8 t minus 4.9 multiplied by 0 and as everyone in here knows every number multiplied by 0 will become a 0 so at the end our limit ends up being negative 9.8 t okay and this answer is our derivative just in case if you guys don't know the way that we represent a derivative of a function is that we put this apostrophe in here and this is our derivative of our function f of t okay and it's equal to 9.8 t and it's negative okay and the question basically is asking for our velocity which is the derivative of our function at five seconds so we're going to plug t equals to five so we'll have negative 9.8 multiplied by five and if we put this into our calculator so 9.8 multiplied by five this should be equal to negative 49 meters per second now this is our velocity and if we go back to our question they're asking for the speed now the speed is basically the magnitude of our velocity and by that what we mean in mathematics by magnitude is that we don't care about the negative sign so if you guys are putting the answer right in here into Pearson you don't have to put the negative and your t final answer in here what you are going to put will be total of 99, uh, 49 meters per second okay so let's not forget about our unit in here is meter per second. If you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.